Here we go. Oh, here's a giant box with back because this could take a while top tip lay it on its side and then pull it out like that we'll get this out so much easier ah here we go actually came out really easy so we'll just unpack, unpack everything. So I think we'll come back. That's the first look though. Suspension. Oh, it's looking good. Looking forward to getting this out. Right, we'll come back when I've got it, everything unpacked off it, yeah? Now we've got to build it. That's going to be good. Should be should be pretty straightforward. Here we are. All the packaging's off. Packaging. Just looking at it first. Look, looks easy enough to set up. Put the front seat on. The back rack. Saddle. Mud guards. And handlebars. Handlebars just here. Just take that bolt out. I want to put the, the wheel on. So we'll do that. I'm going to build it on the rack, on the stand. I'll come back when it's built. See how long it takes. A few moments later. Saddle. First look at it. We'll come back, we'll fold it up and we'll take it out for a run. Here we are, 
we're out on the bike come down the coast nice night so I thought why not do a little run out so we uh, we'll fully charge the battery yeah so you get the pedal assist you just up and down so that's off no pedal assist number one two three four five now if it's unlimited like if the limiter's off the speed limiter that number five will fly because just in number one i'm doing 15 mile an hour this is limited this bike is limited see the throttle doesn't work it's all disconnected and that's for um legal reasons you know i mean if you get that throttle activated and the speed limiter off that's not my doing it's nothing to do with me that so you got the rear suspension it's lovely and uh, comfy i was bouncing along on the seat really comfortable ride with this it's like, it's like a full suspension bike really this is the folding mechanism i'll show that later and when you get the um you see the handlebars stem I was saying this when I was building it, it was a bit off center, it didn't look right, but it is, it's right because it's the folding mechanism, isn't it? So you loosen that off and you fold the bars down. Oh, I can't do it with one hand. Should be able to. That's a little bit tight. I've got it tight so it doesn't fold when I'm riding it. <laughs> but yeah, it's got an eight speed, eight speed shifter. Ah, the brakes. The brakes are American style brakes. So if you know what that means, this is the back brake and that is the front brake. Now you've got to be wise to re remember that, but you do actually get used to it quite quickly because I'm always on the back, you know, you don't want to jam the front brake on, you just go over the top. So the back brake there actually feels really good. That's just me GoPro mount, I'll put that on. But yeah, that's the, uh, you got your trip odometer, you'll have the odo, you can change it with, uh, with that. It's up and down on the side here, changes that. Maximum 19 miles an hour, that was me pedalling that. Average 11.8 miles an hour. Oh, I've made it go dim, right, so the trip is on, I've done 4.7 4 miles. But yeah, it's limited to 15 mile an hour, so it's good for, you know, just pushing you along. This rack is really sturdy, maximum 25 kilo load on there, it's canny. Pedals are nice flat pedals, nice and comfy on the feet. The key, you have to take, leave the key in when you're riding it, so I would suggest taking that key off, having that in your pocket or something. I haven't done that disc brakes, hydraulic disc brakes. Like I say, the, the back way, the wrong way around for the American market. This is an American made bike, designed in America anyway. The seams are all nice, neat welding. Don't know if you can nail that out. Very neat. Oh, I'll have to show you the bike folding. I'm gonna uh, have to do it a couple of times just so I can practice, so I can demonstrate. But yeah. That's it, Engui. Engine Pro 2.0 Max. Big chunky tires. Ice. I was bouncing over some rough terrain coming. I went over the grass and that, and they were great. Nice and comfortable. It's a lovely, comfy ride. Once you get it set up for yourself, it's great. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I like it. Do some footage next of riding back. I'll show you how, how it works with the pedal assist and that. So we're sort of set off now, right? We'll put it on pedal assist number three. There's like a quite little, little hill to get up here, so off we go. Oh, just, I wasn't looking there. <laughs> there we go then, bit, oh, it's done then, it kicks in, you're off. So this is the hill. Right, I'm just pedaling normally. Uh, no problem at all.
no effort getting up that hill there. None. Same there. <laughs> it's easy. You just pedal. You just pedal normally and you're away. You don't have to get out of the saddle. You don't have to strain. It just takes you up. I like it. Right. I'm going to negotiate this bridge. Sorry. Oh, I, was, I didn't want to jump, make you jump. <laughs> Gotta, just gotta be polite to people, you know? Scare the life out of people if you creep up behind them and beep your horn. So I didn't. I'll just go along here. So, we're just cruising along here, and if you don't pedal, it's just sort of, the momentum takes you along. I'm just absolutely putting no effort in whatsoever on this. And I'm going along at a steady nine miles an hour. I'm not even pedaling hardly. Just turning the cranks. So, the pedal assist is very good. This is the horn. Hey! No bell, it's the horn, electronic horn. I like that. So yeah, we'll keep going. Till we get the end. Ready, here we go. Oh. There you are, that was a big bump that. And it just went over, it just glided over. On the front forks you've got the um the lock. Can you see with my foot? You can lock the forks for when you're riding on the road, which I should have on now, really. Look at this person coming along here. Away. Santa Cruz. Yeah, so you can lock the forks for like on the uh, gravel or tarmac or whatever you're on. And if you're on the the bumpy stuff, you just unlock them and that gives you suspension. So that's quite good. So we'll just demonstrate. So, just pedaling along. Pedal assist on. There's a little hill here. See if I slow down, it just, it just kicks in, takes you up the hill. Pedal along here, steady. Why can't people ride bikes properly, you know what I mean? They weave all over the road. The sea is coming and they just go on my side. I don't get it. There we go anyway. So that's it, that's the pedal assist maximum speed there, 15. So if I go faster than 15, that's me pedalling it, pushing it. Rides well, you know, the steering's good. It goes where you point it. Watch this, there's people here, right? I'll just beat the, just give a little peep. Oh, they've seen us. Sorry. No bother. Coming up to a uh, little bit of an off-road bit. When I say off-road, it's just bumpy. So there's a hilly bit. No bother. Pedal assist kicking in. Yeah, gets me up there. So from here, I'll go over this grassy area, which is a little bit rough. 
bit rough down there and I will just be sitting down the whole time, right? See how smooth it is with the back suspension. Here we go. Don't even need a pedal. Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, it's no bother. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Bit of sand here. Tires kicking in. Yes. Easy. Easy. It's a nice steady away look. I'm not putting any effort in. So it's good for that. Yeah, it's don't get why. You pick your horn from about 50 yards away and people jump in the panic and they walk in the middle of the road that just don't know what to do. Just gently and easily just move to the side. It's all you've got to do. You don't have to jump up in the air and run around in the circles. <laughs> Hey, yeah. You do like when you do a cycle proficiency. People should do a, a people proficiency as well. Learn how to walk. For the start, they were on the bike path. I don't know. Anyway, the horn's good, it works. Nice and loud. Yes. Right, watch this. Power! Up to 15. 17 mile an hour, I'll pedal into. Ah, it stops at 15. I suppose that's the legal limit, isn't it? So I think this bike is road legal. It's got to be. There's no throttle. It's limited with the speed. So it has to be road legal. Definitely is. But like I say, there are some unscrupulous people who will disable the throttle. And disable the speed limiter as well. So I think this bike could do potentially about 30 mile an hour but obviously I can't do that <laughs> nice good gear change so anyway we're back in the house now it's been switched off right so it does actually keep your um, your total on there so that's it's, it's name oh that's the light one on that's why it goes dim So your trip is 9.1 odometer. There must be a way to reset that. I'll work that out. Yeah. But anyway, it's only used no battery. Nine miles. It's not even touched any of the bars. It took about two hours to charge it from two bars up to full five bars. So I would say you're looking at about three hours to do a full charge from empty. Not bad. Very good. So it's now time to show you how to fold it. So, first thing is, I've got these pedals here. Now what you don't know is, that if you push it in, the pedals fold, which I didn't know about. So you push the pedal in and fold that, which is good. And then to fold it up, you've got to use this. But you've got to do it from this side. You see why. So unclip it, open the catch. And then, this is a grab handle here. Just folds up. like so there's a little stand on there there's a little stand underneath see how it falls away and then let's get this steady 
We've got a bit. Oh, bring it around here. Bring the camera around here. So you can see what I'm doing. So this bit here pulls out. I think I said I tightened that up, didn't I? That's it. And then you fold the handlebars. Fold them like that. Fold it. The way like that. And you left the whole thing by the that's a grab handle there. And you can lift the bicycle. It weighs a ton like. You've got to be careful lifting it up. Though. And put it in the car or wherever you want. But that's how small it falls up. Stay into that. <laughs> Looks like it's been a bad accident, doesn't it? But everything's folded away. See the pedals? I like how the pedals fold, because they they were the one thing getting stuck in the van, you know, and you're sliding it down the side. And then they just snap back into place, push it forward, and fold it. Good. Handlebars, bike. This is the fold mechanism here. The battery's in there. So just press the button on the side there, and you pull the battery out. You can charge it. You can charge it when it's out. You prefer to charge it when it's in the bike. And there's your suspension there. Oh, yeah. We've got some facts and figures, right? Decided. I read up on it about when I was saying it was road legal, even though it's been limited and the throttle isn't operating, it's not road legal. You've got to use it on private road. That's the gears, Shimano Altus. You've got to use it on private roads, unfortunately. 750 watt motor. So the maximum speed is 15.5 uh, miles an hour. That's the limit on it, you know. The range, they say the range, all important range, they reckon it's 68 miles on a full charge. This is a pedal assist, which I remember using the other bike with the throttle the whole way, and I got about 40 odd miles just on the throttle. So I use the pedal assist. I think that's good for 70 miles, easy. The weight of it now, 31.6 kilograms. So it's not lightweight, <laughs> it's quite heavy, but all electric bikes are, aren't they? Mainly the battery that weighs the most. And a big rigid frame like. That's the steering mechanism. When you build it, you've got to get that nice and tight. It's like a, um, a collar sits there. You take the collar out and then put the Allen key back in. And then you put the stem on. Well, yeah, 31.5 kilos. So it's a big one. Tires are 20 inch. Hydraulic disc brakes. Lithium battery, 750 watts power. Torque, 75 newton meters, which is quite torquey. Which means there's no lag, you just accelerate off, you go, you just go. Eight speed gears. That's them on the big spoke wheels, front and rear light, suspension, uh, preload as well for how you want it. If you want it too soft, you can preload the uh, suspension to have it on softer or harder, you know. So if you have the suspension on and it's too spongy, just preload it and it'll stiffen it up a bit, or vice versa. So there you go, Engui, the Engine Pro 2, nice, it is good like, it's well made.
let me know what you think in the comments. That rear rack can take 25 kilos, I've said that, haven't I? And the weight the bike can take, let's say the rated load is 150 kilos. So if you weigh 151 kilos, it's no good for you. You should also go and see a doctor. <laughs> Nobody weighs 150 kilos. Well, you might. But yeah, that's the rated load anyway. So there you go. I think we'll have a, um, a bike packing trip on it. Make use of this. And we'll see how far it goes.